Aloha everyone, it's Kona Raven, and I finally finished a mini album. I know that it's been a long time, so I'm really hoping that this one is going to be worth the wait. It is a seven and three quarters by six and five eighths cardstock mini album. It has eight pages, and I use the fabulous Graphic 45's uh, Nature Sketchbook Paper Collections. I used about two 8x8 eight eight paper pads. I did have a couple pages left, and I used two 6x6 six six, uh, paper pads as well. But I only used about one and a half of those 6x6 six six paper pads. It is a pretty interactive mini album. Um, and considering how much paper I could have used in it because of the size, I think uh, the amount of paper I used was managed pretty well. So uh, I only had 48 sheets to work with and I used less than that, so that's great. All right, so the front cover, uh, as you can see, I did a little bit of fussy cutting and embellished it very little, which I loved about this collection because there were so many cute elements to cut out, um, and I'm not real big on embellishing, so that was good for me. On As my closure, I used a Graphic 45 uh, keyhole, and I also used a Tim Holtz knob, and you can see that I paired those two together. And then I had this keychain in my collection and it had three small keys on it but I cut all the little keys off and then I attached the bigger key along with the tassel and it just fits over that so perfectly. Alright and the spine is about two and three quarters maybe a little bit less than that. Um, you can see here that I added a little Tim Holtz hanger um, I actually had to attach it to this cardstock piece that was a cutout uh, from the collection that I put on chipboard because I forgot to add it to the spine beforehand. But it turned out really well because it allowed me to add charms. And then there is the back of my mini. Um, you can see that I used a cog here and that, that is just a big brad that I sandwiched the chain in between. All right, now that we've covered the covers and the closure, uh, let's take a look on the inside. All right, let's open this up here. And then on the front cover, I used a journaling card from the collection and then um, framed it, made a pocket so that I could put more journaling cards on the inside. Those are the three by four journaling cards. A little fussy cutting and some pop dotting here. On my first official page, uh, this is a little frame here. You can stick a photo down into it to cover this space here. This is a magnetic closure. And you can see there's plenty of space for photos on the inside. That's a, a chipboard swing tab that opens up. There's also a pocket up top here with a small photo mat. All right, on page two, you can see that there are two ribbons up top here. So this one is a small uh, skinny photo mat. And then this is a little bit larger. I think it's about a three by five. The swing tab opens up and you have two photo mats on the inside. And this one opens up to a pocket and a photo mat that's got a little journaling card in it that flips open to another pocket with another journaling card. And then these photo mats, I just did a little corner band and some tuck some uh, paper from the collection and then here's some interior photo mats with a nice space for a photo in the center and I didn't want to lose the space on the back because it's a pretty big piece so I made it magnetic 
so you could put photos in the back here. All right, next. So this piece right here is magnetic. You flip this open and you see two photo mats and then you pull it out and it's a little booklet. You can put photos all on the inside and do some journaling. And then the pages tuck into this piece here and then it magnetizes closed. Here's some swing tabs. Open those up to a nice large space for photos. And then there's also an on-page pocket. I was actually pretty happy with the amount of magnets I didn't use. Normally I use like 20 something plus magnets, but this time I used more swing tabs than I did magnets. So that's good. Makes it easier. All right, on my next page, I have a chipboard swing tab. So all my large chipboard swing tabs, they're just cutouts from the collection that I put on chipboard a cutout and that's it. Made it easy. That swings out and this opens up. Large space for photos. And this also flips up. And you can tuck a photo down behind this band here. And this piece folds down to a pocket. You can put a photo in the pocket or just leave your journaling cards in there. And then this piece, I really like this piece. It, it's a slider, so it slides to one side and then it reveals photo mats. And then you can take that piece off entirely and it has even more photo mats. It's a lot of space for, for such a small, I think it's a pretty small mini album. Seven by six and five eighths, that's not that big. All right, so that closes up. Next page, I have some swing tabs here. That opens up to a nice large space for photos. And then these small uh, pockets and tags from the sheet, from the pockets and tag sheet. And then this opens up into smaller photo mats as well. All right, this was fun. These are envelope closures and they're holding down these interior photo mats that fold out. Great space for photos. And wind those back around. I'm breaking my own rules about not putting stuff back. It saves time on the video when you don't have to do that. All right, on the next page, um, this is just pockets and tags from the sheet. And then this is a swing tab frame. Just stick the photo in, close it up. It's going to stay there. And then that's magnetic. It opens up. And on the interior, there are four loose photo mats. So that is eight photos here. Nine if you want to do the interior and then 10. So that's a lot of photos for one page. And good size photos too. All right, next page, here's another envelope closure that opens up to the left. Nice big space here. Swing tab, smaller photo mats. But then there's a pocket with a photo mat as well. And just close that back up again. Here is another swing tab that opens up. This flap swings down. That has a nice big space for a photo as well as a pocket with a photo mat. Yeah, and that just tucks right back down into there. And on my last page, so this piece is magnetic that opens up to the left and the right, and it opens up to a pocket with a journaling card. And then this 
flips up to reveal two more spots for photos or journaling. Open up these two swing tabs here. And then on the inside, big old space for a photo right there. And then swing this down. This opens up to nice small photo mats. And then this swing tab as well opens up to a large space for photos. And that's it. This is uh, the last page of my mini. And because I didn't do any type of pockets or anything, I just kind of made it artsy. So another journaling card um, on cardstock. And then uh, another journaling card, the smaller one, I just put on chipboard to give it a little bit of dimension. And then a little cutout here. And then again, there's the back with my Tim Holtz cog and Brad sandwiching my chain. And again, my spine with my pretty charms on it. That was a kind of a good screw up actually. I'm kind of glad that I forgot to put that on because it actually, to me, makes it better um, because I got to put the butterfly on still include the charms and the Tim Holtz uh, hanger. So that incident, that accident turned out to be a kind of a blessing. So this is the Nature Sketchbook mini album. I really do hope that it was worth the wait. Thank you so much for being patient. If you are interested in making this mini album for yourself, the tutorial uh, for this mini is available in my Etsy shop and you can find the link down below in the details box. If you're interested in purchasing this mini album, that link is also down in the uh, details box. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave those down in the comments section, and I will try and get back to you as quickly as possible. And as always, if you have any questions about my tutorials, if you have any questions about crafting things that you think that I can answer, I am always more than happy to try and answer them. You can reach me on my Facebook page. Uh, you can also reach me on my Gmail account, um, which I do answer uh, and check quite often. And the link to that will be down below as well. So it's been great again to be back. Great to show you something new after so long. Thank you so much. Aloha.